Here in the British Virgin Islands, sailboats dominate the landscape. But few make their mark like this one. At the time of her launch, she was the largest performance sailing catamaran ever built. And for the first time, Denison takes you on a walkthrough, Neckerbell. Built by the CMB yard in France, she's 105 feet in length and 47 and a half feet in beam. That's a serious entertaining platform. Let's begin at the stern. You have a few options when it comes to getting into the water. Concealed swim platforms make it easy, but the diving board up on the flybridge makes it fun. And once you're in the water, you'll have plenty to do. Diving, snorkeling, sea scooters, paddle boards, she's got you covered. And getting back on board is just steps away. Let's get the salt off using the rainfall shower on the aft deck and move up to the flybridge. The aft section of the upper deck was refit in 2009 to expand the space. This included the addition of that diving board at the back. Changing this space created a new gathering area near each helm. In the center of the flybridge is one of her standout features, a massive lounge that can entertain more than 20 people. It can be accessed from the interior, making service from the stews more convenient. And this area can be easily covered by a canopy and transformed into an alfresco dining space. She has an in-boom mainsail for your mast that towers above the deck. Attached to the forward portion of the mast is a crow's nest that will transport you all the way up to the second spreader, offering an incredible vantage point for your new destination. The forward section of Neckerbell is what you would expect, a few trampolines, but these are some of the largest you'll find on any catamaran considering her width is almost 50 feet. And as you can see, they're fully functional. Let's move now to the aft deck. You'll find large day beds here to either side that can be protected from the elements. Also to either side here in the center are two dining tables that can accommodate big groups, as well as two isotherm fridges. The majority of this space is protected by the upper deck overhead. And at night, the aft deck becomes a private cinema with drop-down projector and screen. Let's continue forward now into the salon. To the starboard side here, we have an L-shaped seating area with a flat screen TV and access to your crew quarters. And to the port side is a bar where the crew can serve drinks and coffee. For the crew, it's efficient being near the galley a few steps below in the port side hole. Back in the salon, again moving forward, we approach the buffet table where food is typically placed for serving. Surrounding this buffet table are your four staterooms all located on the main deck, which is special for a multi-hull. The port side has two guest staterooms with beds that convert from either a queen, like you see here, or separated into twins, like we have here in the forward port stateroom. And all staterooms are en suite. On the starboard side aft, we have the master. The master is an inviting space with tons of storage and a flat screen TV and the master is equipped with his and her heads and a large stall shower. All accommodations have unique lighting accents, complemented by both light and dark woods, making for a relaxing atmosphere. Forward of the master, near the lower helm, is your fourth stateroom that was added during the refit back in 2009, and the ensuite here is just aft. Additionally, the salon can be converted to a queen berth making a total of five staterooms and the ability to sleep 10 guests. Forward on the main deck is your lower helm. Close by here on the port side is a nav station and around the corner is a sofa that faces forward. To the starboard side forward is additional storage and around this corner is access to the crew area located in the starboard hole. For power, she has Caterpillar C7s that were installed in 2014. We hope you enjoyed this private tour of the 105-foot sailing catamaran, Neckerbell. For more information, please contact us.